the increase in house value for Tony's grandparents' house is an example of exponential growth. Exponential growth can be modeled using an exponential function. Exponential function is a function of the form f of x equals a times b to the x power, where x is the domain value, f of x is the range value, a cannot equal zero, b must be greater than zero, and b cannot equal one. In exponential growth, a quantity is multiplied by a constant factor greater than one during each time period. The value of Tony's grandparents' house is growing exponentially because it is multiplied by a constant factor for each decade. What is that constant factor? What was being multiplied each decade? That's right, two. A function that can be used to model the house value is h of t equals 10,000 times two to the t. Use this function for items 12 through 17. Identify the meaning of h of t and t, and what are the reasonable domain and range? Well, h of t is the value of the house. T is not the number of years, it's the number of decades. When did those decades start? That's right, since 1960. Our reasonable domain and range are non-negative numbers. And I should say non-negative real numbers. It doesn't make sense for us to look at the value of the house before the house was purchased in 1960. And it doesn't make sense for the value of the house to be negative. Okay. Number 13. Describe how your answer to item 11 is related to the function 10,000 times 2 to the t power. How is this 2 related to this function? It is the number that is raised to the power of t. Alright, we're going to wrap up this section by answering a few questions.